Hi, I'm going to walk you through the procedure for manually updating the audio video in America's Most Haunted. Okay, there's a couple things you'll need. You'll need to get this propeller tool, and this allows you to program the microcontroller that drives the audio video functions of the game. So you want to download this program and install it. Uh, this only works in Windows, so you'll either need a Windows PC or a friend with a Windows PC. If you don't have a friend with a Windows PC, maybe, you know, see if there's some guy at the bus station that has it and will let you use it. So, yeah. Okay, once you've installed that program, you're going to want to get the latest code. And uh, this link that I clicked, AMH code zip, this isn't, uh, this isn't really the installer code. This is more like the source code. So if I go into the zip file that I just downloaded and I open it up, Oh, wow, look, at least, oh, wow, it goes back to version 15. So what you're going to need in order to fix the uh, audio video is this one, AMHAV audio video prop revision 22. Let's go ahead and copy that and just, you know, put it on your desktop someplace. Um, it's not a good idea to open the compressed folder, so copy that folder out. Okay, so go in there, and you're going to want to load AV kernel 22 spin. Double click it, and you'll see this, all right? So this is the propeller tool. This is what we use to... So you could read this if you wanted and then see how the audio video works. It actually all fits in 32K of RAM. Pretty cool, huh? So go up here and right-click on this, and you're going to say that it's the top object file. That way it knows that it's using this. All right? Okay, so at this point, you're going to want to turn on your pinball machine and then plug a USB cable into the rightmost USB port on the motherboard. This is the one near the DMD cable, the one on the right, not the USB port near the ghost logo. For this procedure, you want to use the rightmost USB port on your pinball machine's motherboard. Okay, uh, then plug it into your computer. You may get a driver installation uh, message. If you install a propeller tool, it should also install the drivers you need for that to work. Before we flash it, we do have to do one thing, go up to edit and then preferences. Go to operation, propeller reset signal. Make sure this is set to DTR and RTS. This ensures that we can talk to the microcontroller. Hit accept. All right. So if you hit F7 on your keyboard, it should look for it. And, you know, it'll say propeller chip version one found on, you know, some COM port whatever it happens to be. If you don't see this message when you hit F7, that means you don't have the driver or you forgot to turn on your machine or the cable, a rat was chewing through it or something. But you know, those, those are your problems, not mine. If a rat chews through your cables, you should really go buy a new cable. All right, so once you know that you've connected to the propeller, and of course, if you, if you plug the USB into the wrong port on the pin heck board, it won't give you any message or it'll say propeller not found. Okay, so it's definitely there. So now you're going to want to do this. You're going to go control F11, or you can also go r run and uh, compile top, you know, control F11. So you're going to want to either, you know, select it here or just push control F11. And that will flash the EEPROM manually over the USB cable. So you should see your DMD blink. Then it'll say, you know, code versions. So the AV version should be 22. Uh, at the moment, the most current code version of the game itself is 22 as well. They don't actually have to be the same number, but they should be. Uh, so your pinball machine is probably in attract mode, which means it's not going to restart the video display. So the video display will just sit there on the version numbers so unplug the USB cable from your computer, then turn your pinball machine off, wait a few seconds, turn it back on. You should see the splash screen with the version numbers and then the track mode with the uh, logo and whatnot should begin. Uh, if you get an SFX error, that means it was not able to mount the SD card. So uh, if that happens, um, turn the game off, click in the SD card, pull it out, click it back in, just make sure it's firmly in place. There's also a, uh, a DIP-8 integrated circuit 
just above the DMD cable, that's your EEPROM, make sure that is firmly seated in place as well. Uh, especially if you get a EEPROM verify error when you're trying to flash it. Well, hopefully that helps you to update your AV code manually if you need to for some reason, such as some ginger guy putting the wrong code on an SD card accidentally. <laughs> All right, good luck.